The Tesla Model S Plaid powertrain is an incredible feat of engineering, and Elon Musk just revealed some of the technology that makes the rocket-like acceleration of the Tesla Plaid Model S possible. Let's dive into some of the details that Elon Musk gave at the delivery event for the Plaid Model S. And also talk about what makes the powertrain of the Plaid Model S so special. So let's get started. The power required for a 4700 plus four-door sedan to sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2 seconds or less and complete the quarter mile in around 9.23 seconds is utterly insane. To do this in a car that costs around $130,000, well that's not exactly cheap, but it's much less than other performance vehicles that have specs like this. Now the Plaid Model S of course has the all-new tri-motor powertrain that Tesla has been talking about, which consists of a single front motor and two motors in the rear. This definitely improves upon the former dual-motor performance variant of the Model S that we've seen in past years. As revealed at the Plaid event, engineering a tri-motor powertrain capable of this kind of performance was not an easy task. Here's how Elon Musk described the technology of these new motors at the delivery event for the Plaid Model S. So, uh, we have an, an all-new battery pack, um, and then something we're really proud of is the new carbon-sleeved rotors for the motor. So this is the first time that, uh, there's a, to the best of our knowledge, there's been a, a production electric motor that, had, that has a carbon overwrap rotor. So this is a super hard thing to do, because uh, carbon and uh, copper have, uh, you know, a, a very different rates of thermal expansion. So, in order to do a carbon overwrap rotor, you've got to wind it at extremely high tension. It's a very hard thing to, to do. We actually have to design the machine that makes the motor, the rotor. It goes up to tw uh, 20,000 RPM and maybe a little more. So, as we dive into the technology built into this tri-motor powertrain. We are going to start with the carbon fiber over wrapped rotors that Elon Musk talked about and talk about why this carbon over wrapping is necessary. Elon Musk mentioned that the Plaid Model S still has a single speed gearbox, and because of this, without any gear reductions, these motors operate at very high speeds and can reach up to 20,000 RPMs or more. This level of RPMs for a motor is of course much greater than you'll find in an internal combustion engine. And because of this, it required new engineering to keep performance levels where they needed to be for these new motors. When it comes to Tesla's motors operating at very high RPMs, this definitely leads to some problems, and that problems are related to centrifugal force. As Elon Musk mentioned, high rotational speeds cause the rotor to want to expand, and if the rotor is not carbon wrapped, it won't function very well or efficiently at high RPMs. Carbon fiber is a great material to use as a support trap because not only can carbon fiber be extremely strong, it's somewhere around five times as strong as steel. It also has a much lower rate of thermal expansion than say copper, so it will apparently maintain constant support on the rotor, even at very high temperatures. Definitely a lot better than a metal support trap would give, which is usually made of high-strength steel. However this is not just your average carbon fiber wrap, we were able to find evidence that some other companies are using carbon fiber wraps on their motors, but apparently nothing like what Tesla is doing at this kind of increased tension. As Elon Musk mentioned at the reveal event, in order to maintain the kind of tolerances between the stator and the rotor that Tesla required this carbon fiber wrap needed to be wound extremely tight. According to Elon Musk, the machine that was needed to do this did not exist, so in true Tesla fashion, they designed and created their own machine to perform this task. When Alex on Twitter asked Elon Musk the following question about whether the carbon fiber sleeves are direct wound or pressed on, Elon Musk responded by saying, fiber is wound over rotor at high tension load. Machine, to do this was made by Tesla Automation. Carbon sleeve must put copper rotor in compression, or it loosens at low temperature due to differential thermal expansion. Preload is also helpful for maintaining precise gap to stator. 
When asked about more details on this wrapping process by Alex on Twitter, Elon Musk responded by saying, the plaid carbon wrapped motor is arguably the most advanced motor on earth, outside of maybe a lab somewhere. We have to keep some secrets. We have a few ideas for increasing torque and max RPM even further for new Roadster. Definitely fun and exciting engineering ahead. Now when it comes to the tangible benefits of this carbon overwrapped rotor that Tesla has for these plaid motors, this definitely leads to a much improved power curve for the powertrain of the plaid Model S. At the plaid delivery event, Tesla put up this chart to show the power loss at high RPMs for the previous versions of the performance Model S as compared to the plaid Model S. As you can see, the previous versions of Tesla's performance Model S suffered power loss at high RPMs, however with this new powertrain, Tesla is able to eliminate this problem and maintain very high power, even at high RPMs. The new Plaid powertrain definitely puts the smack down on the internal combustion engine, and as Elon Musk said at the event. There's never been a, an electric motor like this. I mean, you can pick this motor up with your hands. And, and it can accelerate a two-ton car to 60 miles an hour in two seconds. I mean, that kind of power to weight is insane. So far we've focused on the carbon overwrapping and the its benefits. But now we want to move over to one other aspect of the Plaid Model S that was improved, and it's definitely related to the powertrain and performance. That comes down to the thermal management system that Tesla put into the Plaid Model S. This new thermal management system is going to allow for a lot more repeated performance without performance loss. In the first generations of the Tesla Model S, after just a few quarter mile runs, the power was drastically throttled down in the car to protect the car's battery and motors from failure due to heat. Over the years from 2012 to 2020, Tesla definitely improved the thermal management system of their vehicles for the Model S, and this definitely led to a lot of improvement in this area. Even the last generation Model S was able to do much more performance runs with much less performance loss, and was able to maintain a much cooler battery pack and cool the motors a lot more efficiently than in the past. Here's what Elon Musk had to say about the new thermal management system found in the Plaid Model S. We also have the latest uh, and greatest uh, in heat pump, which is the basically the HVAC system for the car. Uh, it's 30% better cold weather range uh, and requires 50% less energy for cabin heating in freezing conditions. Um, yeah, so it's, you'll see very little degradation in cold weather. Um, and the radiator is uh, twice as big for heat rejection. So you'll be able to actually do back-to-back -back zero to 60s, um, go on the track, just whole ass and uh, as you'll see tonight, this car is just going to be over and over again and it doesn't get winded. When it comes to a real world example of this repeat performance capability, as it was reported by this Teslarati article, professional race car driver Randy Popist recently drove a Plaid Model S on the Laguna Seca track. And although the car did have some modifications done by unplugged performance, it still maintained a stock powertrain. This article mentions that even with a 34% state of charge, the Plaid Model S fell just as quick as when it had a full charge. Unplugged Performance CEO Ben Schaefer also mentioned, with every generation of Tesla, we've experienced significant progress in sustainable power delivery and thermal capacity. In simple terms, this means you can drive faster and longer. The new Model S Plaid continues this trajectory of improvement, and during our shakedown runs, the car illustrated almost no perceptible power loss as the battery state of charge decreased. When it comes to how the Plaid Model S fared, as compared to other performance vehicles that are on the track at the same time, like two McLarens, the driver of a McLaren P1 noted that the Model S Plaid was so fast that it almost felt like the other vehicles were standing still. Now there is something that we haven't really talked about yet that we think is really important to point out. When you look at the performance specs of the Plaid Model S and you just see them on paper, you would think without knowing what vehicle it was, you would think it was some kind of two-door supercar. However, the Plaid Model S is actually a luxury four-door sedan that is actually a very practical vehicle. 
It's equipped with a state-of-the-art infotainment system, with PS5-level computing power, an impressive sound system, and the car should be capable of full autonomous driving, with a future software update. The Plaid Model S can also comfortably fit a family and has plenty of luggage space. It's also a great long-distance travel vehicle, as it has almost 400 miles of range, especially when you consider the fact that Tesla has a very impressive charging network that enables this long-distance travel without worrying about where you're going to charge. So in summary, the Plaid Model S powertrain technology proves once and for all that the internal combustion engine will soon be a thing of the past. Tesla is once again raising the bar when it comes to performance and showing just what is possible with an all-electric powertrain. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.